You can't fucking beat me. Shoulder blades together. Chest high. Grip wide. Everything tight. Push. Fucking punch right through you. When you walk into the gym, you remind yourself that you brought yourself there because you want to be there, because you want to train. When I get there, it's on. There's no other acceptable outcome. So your energy is not derived from some exterior source. It's something that comes from within. Bodybuilding can be a selfish endeavor in that it requires supreme dedication and focus. Is that a bad thing? Most people who accomplish anything in life had to focus intently on it. Sometimes you gotta get your hands dirty. Sometimes you've gotta give up stuff. That's the way it is, that's the way stuff gets done. I always viewed lifting as a um, solitary endeavor. I like doing what I want to do. When I feel like doing it. How I want to do it. Way back. Yeah, it's a selfish thing. It's about me. Shoulder blades together, chest up. I put the stamp of approval on what I do. Well, I'll be up to somebody else's standards. What do they know about me? Push. Right through you. Push. You will not take it from me. You do need to know your goal. You do need to identify it. Everybody has a different goal. Not everybody's goal is to be a pro bodybuilder. Not everybody's goal is to push themselves to the absolute limit. Whatever your goal is, it's great. Just make sure what you're doing supports that. If it works, it works. If it's not, you gotta change something. We are not machines. We do need to decompress. We do need balance in life. You have to know what you need. You've got to be honest enough with yourself to know what it is and to know when to allocate it. Progress is never going to be perfectly linear, but it begins to slow down at some point. I'm human. If things stall for me, does it bother me? Yeah. Does it demotivate me? No. Push. Dumbbells wide. Push. Fucking smash you. If anything, it actually motivates me to find a way to improve it. I think the further things develop for me as a bodybuilder. The further I go on, the more driven I become to know what my limits are. In my mind, if I'm gonna take the time out of my day, go to the gym, drive there, I get there, I might as well do it. I might as well do it to the full extent that I can. <laughs> <laughs> You come to find out that people are afraid of something, and a lot of times they don't know what they're afraid of. 
you know, when it comes to training, you come to realize that it's just pain. It's what are you afraid of the burn? Mm. Afraid your lungs, you know, you're gonna you're gonna be out of breath. Who gives a shit? So what? So what? You come to find out that it's it's not just in the gym, but it's in life in general. People don't want to work. Work's a great thing. It's good to come home at the end of the day tired. You sleep good like that. You feel like you did something. Fuck's everybody so afraid of working for? That's training. Well, a lot of times once you show people that, they go, wow. It's addictive because it's rewarding. 